go. Hey guys, Nick Allard again, AA Real Estate. We're taking you through week six of the Natick 20 Harvard Street Rehab. You guys ready to come with me? Let's do this. We're going to see the outside first. We've got the insulation going up. Uh, or this is the wrapping, and then we're going to put the vinyl siding on. We have the siding guys here today. Um, by the way, I took two weeks off to go to California. Do you guys like my tan? Is it beautiful? Anyway, never mind. We went through the desert. Don't do that. All right, come on with me. We're going to go in. You with me? we got Chris holding the camera today. Chris, you with me? I'm with you. All right. Awesome, awesome. As you guys can see, we're actually a week behind schedule on this rehab because we had a lot of extra framing that we had to do. We didn't know we had to do this. If you guys look around in here, um, what you may not notice, if you take a look at this floor, Chris, we actually, the level of job that we did on this floor, we jacked everything up about three inches. Um, our contractors did, they're fantastic. The, the issue was it still wasn't quite level, so we had to put um, these sleepers on the floor here to make the plywood on the top to get this thing level all the way through. So we had an awful lot more framing to do here than we actually thought. But this is still going to be a living room. As you guys remember, these stairs are gone, and we now have our new stairway going up the top. You guys remember the new stairs I told you? They're nice little stairs. But come on through the kitchen. We'll hit it. I don't have insurance. Careful, Chris. No trip. <laughs> Try not to. All right, sweet. Here is uh, all of the rough stuff is in. We have our HAC is in, all the duct work is in, we have a, all of our plumbing is in, electrical is going to be started next week. Here's our plumbing, we have our wash and dryer back here, back in the kitchen. You can see here, this is going to be the new wash and dryer. What? Oh, he's not doing it anymore, I was going to hit. Wash and dryer room back here in the kitchen. And this is going to be about a 24-foot kitchen. We have cabinets going to line up this wall. We have an island that's going to be in here. Uh, we're going to have upper cabinets. And guys, guess what? We do get my bar is going in right here. It's going to be beautiful with a four-foot opening. So this is going to be a really nice kitchen when it's done. Okay, guys, up here, we're in the top floor. We've got everything's framed out. So it's fantastic. A lot more framing than we thought. Master bedroom in here. You come to the top of the stairs, take a left. Gigantic master bedroom. You walk to the back, you have your master suite in here. We have our shower that's going to be going in. Obviously, we're going to be tiling this floor. We have our jacuzzi tub that just came in. It's going to be very, very, very nice when it's done. Don't look at it because it's very dirty. Um, cleaning that up. It's going to be tiling up and over and for a backsplash in that hot tub. It's going to be beautiful in this bathroom when we're done. It's master suite. It's going to walk through here. We have a walk in closet. And what we don't have, we don't have a walk-in bathroom, Ugh. but I just walked through it. So here we are. This is the kids' bathroom. Kids' bathroom, they come in here, they do their thing, they get a shower in here, it's beautiful, everyone's seen a bathroom before. And we have our two big bedrooms over here for the kids. So it's all framed out, all ready to go, duct work is in, and it's going to be amazing. Now guys, check out what we did for the third floor. It's not finished yet, I want you to check out the stairway first. How luxurious. Come on up, Chris. This is a good time. Chris, would you say these stairs are luxurious? I would say they're super luxurious. We put, we had to double the length of the stairs. Um, and there was actually a reason, there was a support reason for that. Uh, it was actually, this header was too low when we were going to build the original stairs. So instead, we widened the stairs, cut into a closet down here on the first, the first floor so we didn't lose any living area. And we built this upstairs. So let's come on up. And here is our uh, framed out fourth bedroom up here in the attic. This was attic space before. We're going to be finishing it. We have our duct work all in. It's really hot up here right now, almost as hot as the desert, not quite. And uh, we've got all of our windows are in, but not much else to see up here. But it's going to be, wait till you see it when it's finished. This is week six. We're one week behind schedule. So now we're looking at about nine weeks. Live date is now September 10th, just because of all the framing they had to do with the new leveling that they had to take care of. But... It's all taken care of, so it's going to hit the basement. If you guys don't remember, yes, we're a little closer to the ceiling now. They did fill in the entire floor down here with new concrete. They had to jackhammer the whole floor. They re-poured concrete all the way down. As you can see over here, Chris, this is where they redid that foundation. They poured in new block, and they, um, they're going to come out and stuck out the outside of it to make it look nice on the outside. But that's where they redid the foundation on the side. This was one of the worst leveled houses I had ever seen as an investor. When you're an investor, you think you can just come in and 
just jack up some beams and take care of it. In this house, we had, when we jacked up beams, we had, of course, the outside addition problem. We had to demo that completely. We had to rebuild this foundation because that almost fell in. And then we had to re-support the whole house because the whole floor, going to the third floor, was just not level at all. So we had to reframe it, re-level it. It was a crazy, crazy experience. But we're still uh, one week, one and a half weeks over our allotted time. And we're still actually within, um, we're a little over our original budget, but we're within the second budget that we set that I think I told you about. We're at about um, 165 for rehab here on this one. So this is it. We have our new furnace in. Uh, they're going to run electrical next week. So we have this over here, guys. We'll take a quick walk to see what these... They're blocking in all these windows here on the side. As you can see, they started with uh, all the windows are in. They had to block up where all the old windows were because they weren't level. They were old. They were miserable. And they reframed out new windows all over the house, and they've all been installed today. So we're looking at September 10th now for a live date in this house. Uh, all that's left is we've got electrical coming in. We've got all the flooring guys, all the finish guys, plaster guys coming in. Um, they're going to be rebuilding these porches over the next couple weeks, and uh, I'll take you through. It'll be very, very exciting. So, week six, AA Real Estate, if you guys are interested, 20 Harvard Street, Natick, if you know any buyers. Um, other than that, go check out the website, aarementor.com. I'll see you then.